God bless you so much. I'd like you to stay tuned and get set for God's word. God bless you. I know. How about you been delayed? I know. I know. I should have had three children now. I know. But I know that God can still give triplets and compress eight years in nine months. I know. I know he can restore. So it gives me rest. My sister, there's one man. He's not exactly a man of God, but he's not a herbalist either. He can help you. And he said, no, no, no. I know. That knowledge gives you stability. Are we together now? Yes. Compromise is proof that you don't know God. That your knowledge of God has been exhausted. And you have to outsource another support system. But the people, but the preachers, but the businessmen that do know their God, in Lagos, they shall be strong. In Nigeria, they shall be strong. It didn't say but the Yoruba people that know their God. It didn't say the Igbo people that do know their God. It didn't say the Hausa people that do know their God. It didn't say the Calabar people. It didn't even say the nationals that know their God. The people that do know their God. They shall be strong in any city and they shall do exploits in any city. They shall be strong. Capacity. Let me give you an equation. I wrote something down here. You'll notice I'm being very simple this night because I really want us to get it. I put a seven, one, two, three, four, five, a six step process here to knowing God. Number one, just you can put it this leads to this leads to this leads to that. Let me just do it quickly and then I'll explain. Number one, the first dimension I said is an encounter. Number two, an encounter leads to revelation. After an encounter, it is revelation. And then number three, revelation brings conviction conviction number four conviction produces faith faith produces actions of obedience and your action of obedience produces results this is how it works so it starts with an encounter then it leads you to revelation then revelation produces conviction then faith or belief if you want to write it and then that belief gives you the platform to act in obedience actions of obedience and then your action leads to results this is how we get results in this kingdom it starts with an encounter and ends with an awe-inspiring result encounter revelation conviction faith actions of obedience results this is the equation if you want to excel in 2019 this is what you will need to pass through an encounter an encounter that means for instance if you want to prosper then there is a dimension of god you have to encounter when you encounter jehovah jireh there is something about that name you have that encounter it produces revelation of the principles contained within him to prosper you then it creates conviction now you can give if god tells you to empty your account you are not wondering will it happen you can take a step of faith because it's from a standpoint of conviction. I tell you why the giving of many people never produces results. It is either for many people, not this circle at all, but for many people it's out of pressure and then for others it's out of religion. Yet for others it is even competition. And so there is no life that sponsors that activity. You give out of conviction and watch what happens. There are times that your harvest is waiting right there where you are keeping the seed. You drop the seed and pick the harvest. Your conviction can stretch you that far. Are we together? And so people bring their tithes and bring their offerings like a bribe in anger 
hoping that God sees them and hoping that God sees their anger. Lord, I'm dropping the, if I, I, I empty, it's my account, I emptied now. I hope you are watching. And God says, what is your idea of me? If you've been evil, know how to give good gifts. Is it in your Bible? But somebody comes and says, Lord, I trust you. When you give to a rich man, do you cry? When a rich man says, I'm looking for change, you are quick to bring it because you know what will be your reward for meeting a rich man's need. Every man blesses according to his riches in the bank. That's how men bless. Unfortunately, God's bank is called glory. So he supplies your need. Not according to your need. Because sometimes your need is an insult. So he has to supply it according to his riches in glory. Please don't think I'm just motivating you. It's true. It's true. The people that do know their God, when you give from a standpoint of an encounter, that spirit of giving is at work. You understand that your seed can bruise the head of the serpent. It's true. You know. You understand the dimension of God that brings favor. And you know you are carrying it. You see that? That, that conviction, every time you see people, is as if they owe you. You expect them to respond to the anointing on you. So when you see them looking at you, you know it's working. They are under the influence of something like a charm. They may not know, but say, um, I've been looking for you. Of course you have been looking for me. There is something that should make that happen. The knowledge of God is powerful. The knowledge of God has monetary value. The knowledge of God is valuable. There are things if you know about God, it will make you know other things about Satan. One of the greatest revelations about Satan is that he is not just that he is defeated, is that Satan can be tired. That's a very powerful revelation. Because people faint when they are tired. A man can be defeated and still stubbornly try to lay claims. That's what Satan does. But there is a system that provides weariness to the point that he will even flee. It's a system of resistance. The Bible says resist the devil. You need to know what that resisting is. That there is something a man can do to the devil and you watch him, he watches you and goes. Resist the devil and he will flee. Is, is God speaking to someone tonight? Because we need to come out of this conference full of faith and convictions. Some of you need to run and go back home and say, this is it. I, I wrote my prayer points and edited some out of unbelief. I'm adding them back. I'm adding them back and I'm reducing the time for their manifestation. Because something about the knowledge of God has entered your spirit. Look at what happened to people in the Bible every time they had dimensions of encounters with God. It changed their perspective. Ah, look at David for God's sake. Look at David. Look at David standing before Goliath. How can a little teenager watch very strong veterans, military veterans, and this young boy comes to serve food and hears a beast roaring, six fingers and six toes, and David laughs. He says, God, I know something about you that can throw this man. And then he went to Saul. He told his brothers, the brothers said, return home before we beat the living daylight out of you. And then he met Saul. Saul only asked a question. What tribe and what family are you coming from? And then he allowed him. Gave him spares. And he said, no, no, no. I wasn't trained with this formula. The God I know does not need all of these things. David is standing before Goliath. Remember, you are intelligent. 
when david stands before goliath you expect him to shake and david is david is just imagining his testimony he was so sure he said what will be my reward first they said one you will marry the king's daughter i mean what a joy who doesn't want that kind of stress taking off you the stress of call text will you marry me automatically in one sweep please sit down number two your family will be exempted from tax number three you will be rewarded david said let's go and he stood before goliath goliath felt insulted he said i know i will kill you but am i a dog israel is this your best you you can't even respect me and david said you keep watching you come to me with your bows and your spears but i come to you in a name i come to you in a name let me tell you there was a revelation that david knew james 2 26 that anybody without a spirit backing it is dead david knew that that a body is only alive based on the spirit that backs it the size of the body does not matter when a body without a spirit stands before you is as good as dead and david looked and said there is nothing back in this man let's stand i can go this is cheap victory and then he told him he said mister let me even tell you how i'm going to kill you number one you see this link is going to hit your head then you'll be on the ground and then i will use your own sword cut off your head and then i will lift it up and goliath said i see i can imagine god in heaven say who is this who is this young boy putting pressure on my integrity listen i believe i believe now the bible does not say but i believe no matter what direction that stone touched goliath he still would have died it wasn't about the accuracy of the forehead any part of him goliath was already dead hallelujah and goliath falls to the ground and that becomes great victory your destiny is at the mercy of a dimension of God you know. That's why it matters which man of God introduces God to you. And it matters what he tells you about God. Thank you for watching this powerful video. I believe your soul, spirit and body has been mightily blessed, revived, stirred up, geared and set for transformation. I would like you to please stay tuned on Reflector Hub TV and get more blessed i also like you to click on the subscribe button and also strike the notification bell so you could stay in touch and always updated with our daily post remain blessed god bless you